Hello folks, uh, thank you for tuning in to PC Food Online. Uh, so today I'm going to be cooking some Escalar. Uh, also known as Ultra White Tuna. It's considered a delicacy I think to some. It's better to eat in light portions only because it's a really fatty fish. It's really good as an appetizer or main entree. Any type of white wine goes good with the fish. And all I'm going to do is thinly slice the fish. And the fish uh, typically seems to cook a little fast. So what I have here is a olive oil with garlic, salt, and pepper. Uh, I don't have a specific amount measured. It's kind of to the taste, uh, whatever you prefer. If you like more black pepper, if you like more garlic, uh, you're gonna you're gonna want to add more, uh, more or less, you know. And right here, I'm just gonna let it soak in my uh, little olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper mixture. Um, and you don't need to let it soak that long, really. Just kind of try to get the flavor inside of the, the fish. And once you pan sear it too, the garlic is going to kind of cook on the outside of the fish. It's going to create a nice toasty. I have cherry flavor. tomatoes in the same mixture that I'm going to use for the fish. Um, and all I'm going to do is roast these. Uh, you can also saute them in a, in a saute them, or you could uh, put them in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes to a hot pan. So just be careful when you do this. And I'm going to just go ahead and have fresh spinach and all I'm going to do with this is very lightly steam it in some salt water. The reason I'm going to let it uh, go in the salt water is only because it's kind of a little bit more refreshing to my liking uh, to go along with the fish. And not for a very long time at all, maybe like two minutes or less. Just trying to lay it down straight on the back or the side or something as best as you can. So typically I don't really like to cook uh, hot fish with olive oil only because it tends to turn bitter. But uh, for this fish is an exception only because it doesn't take much time to cook. So with this piece of fish, like I said, you don't want to cook it too long. Um, if you cook it too long, it tends to be like a dry piece of chicken. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start to flip this. And the time is going to vary on cooking. You can kind of see the translucent in the middle. That's about the perfect time to flip it. When you see the outer side already white. And depending on how thin you slice it, it's going to vary how long you're going to cook it. And once you flip, start flipping, you could actually go ahead and turn the heat off. It'll kind of carry over cook as you flip it. And I'm going to go ahead and add the wine too. You want to do this away from the fire, just in case. Just let it sit as, uh, as the heat then starts to cool down. So I have the spinach. I drained it from the hot water. I'm going to stagger the roasted tomatoes and I'm going to go ahead and add my fish and I'm going to hit the parsley for the garnish and that's it.